I'm Dr. Scott Shaw and welcome to this week's Medical Minute. This week we're going to take just a moment and talk about pressure testing an anesthesia machine. The anesthesia machine should be pressure tested actually before every patient, not even just once a day. So it's a really important piece of our regular safety protocols to make sure our anesthesia machines are safe and functioning properly. It's pretty straightforward when done properly, but there's a couple of common pitfalls to watch out for. When, first thing I'm going to do is that we're going to need to occlude the end of the T-piece. You can use your thumb, or I actually find it a lot easier because I only have two hands to get this process done, to attach a rebreathing bag to the end of the anesthesia T-piece. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to... Is that... Filmed in real life. Uh, is that you're going to want to close the uh, pop-off valve. This is the one and only time we should ever close the pop-off valve. And it is imperative that when we're done with this, we remember to uh, open the pop-off valve back up. So I'm going to close the pop-off valve. And then I'm going to turn on the oxygen flow. And we're going to watch the needle climb up to about 20 centimeters of water. I'm going to turn the oxygen flow off. And then for about 30 seconds, you're going to watch to make sure that the pressure in the system doesn't change. If the pressure is going slowly up, it means you still have oxygen coming into the system. Or if the pressure is coming down really slowly, it means that there's oxygen leaking out of the system. So this is held nice and steady here at about 22 centimeters of water. And then what you want to do is you want to slowly release the pop-off valve. You don't want to open it wide all at once and let the air rush out because what can happen is that some of the barrel line can actually get sucked into your valves if that happens. It'll return all the way to zero. Your pressure, your, um, your pressure test is passed and you're ready to go ahead and perform anesthesia. If it fails, the most common places where you're going to end up with leakage is going to be where the T, where the, um, T piece is attached to the anesthesia machine, where your rebreathing bag is attached, or especially if you've changed the barrel line recently, you're going to can get leaks with this gasket here that's just not seated properly where the barrel line canister attaches into the anesthesia machine. So work through those one at a time, rechecking for a leak after every one until you isolate the source of the leak. An anesthesia machine that's leaking shouldn't be, shouldn't be used for a patient until it's been fixed. That's it for this week's Medical Minute and have a great week.